Dear viewers, welcome to another episode of Enforce Tech TV live from Enforce Tech 2023 here at Messe Nuremberg. Today with me is Tom Frain from Psyonix. Tom, thank you for making the show. Thank you for having me. Before we go into a product that pretty much, pretty much everyone has been waiting for for many, many years, please, how did you like the show so far? This show is fantastic. This is our second year here. And this is a perfect venue and platform to, to come share our story and to introduce people to the new version of digital technologies. Digital technologies is the kicker. For those few, few people who may not know about Psyonix by now, please introduce your company. What are you guys all about? <laughs> well, we are a 16-year-old company you may never have heard of. So we started in the labs at Harvard University in Boston, Massachusetts. And it was a, a development of trying to evolve and improve the low-level capabilities of, of digital vision. So we've been working on these programs for years, and the main customer we've had is the U.S. Department of Defense. Okay. Okay. So, so our heritage is defense and security programs. But we are selling our technology. We're giving it away to, to programs to be embedded or integrated into larger programs. So along the way, we decided, you know, hey, listen, we got a great technology. We know people want to have it. So let's harness it and put it into our own products. So in 2018, we developed our first product into the market. It was called the Aurora. The Aurora is a handheld operator type program. So with that, we learned that people wanted to use it on ahead, right? So here we are today with the Opsin, and that's what we're going to focus on with our conversation. Before recording this video, we talked about the ops, and, and the first question, my first question was for you, Tom, please, I apologize, but I've been hearing for several years that digital night vision is ready, it has finally made the step for true, true night vision. You actually started to convince me, but please, what is the option doing differently than anything else that we've seen before during the years? Yeah, so, so <clears throat> excuse me, you are correct. Digital night vision has been around. It's been around for decades, but it's always been a low performer, right? So, so you've seen digital night vision in, in your phone, right? To be able to take your selfies or to capture whatever you want, right? But it's always been geared towards high light, high dynamic environments. So what we're doing is the opposite. We're trying to drive this thing as low light capable as possible. And we know that we are the best in the world at it. So this product now can give you a capability to see 150 meters, a man-sized target, with no supplemental illumination. No supplemental illumination. Correct. No, uh, no, IR, uh, no IR enhancement, no additional IR laser on my helmet, nothing. Correct. We're able to accomplish that with our silicon sensor, right? So, so we can see below quarter moon. So this product actually sees moonless starlight environments. When people think of digital night vision, what they usually used to think was, all right, I have to be happy with less. Maybe less image quality, less night vision enhancement, but your product actually adds stuff because you told me in advance, now we're able to have more information on the HUD on the display. Would you mind jumping into this? Oh man, where do I start? Yes. So this product is an enhancement, right? It is an alternative to the traditional night vision. So what we can do, one, is we see in color at night. Do you believe me? I would not if I had not seen it. Correct. So the number one thing we get here at this show at Enforce Tech is when people see the product on our display, our monitor, they're like, in color? Yes, in color. That is our magic sauce, okay? But we also provide um, uh, expanded, enhanced situational awareness. So what does that mean? We have a massive display in this camera. So think of a high definition TV screen right next to your eye. And that gives you a high fidelity, which makes a crisper image. So when people are looking and navigating under nods right at night, they can now see very minute details in the image where with analog systems you cannot. It's a very fuzzy, blurry screen. We give you a very Especially around screen. the edges also. Absolutely. So the field of view, we're 45 degree field of view horizontal. So the, the best specs that you get out of an analog system is 40. But we all know that it's not a true 40. So you're losing some field of view exactly. in other, other systems. So we're giving you about a, a 10 degree enhanced field of view. In addition, we give you battery life, right? We give you uh, GPS, magnetic compass. 
and other features that will be displayed around the perimeter of the image. First thought that comes into my mind, well, it's cool, all the enhancement, color, GPS, this must drain the battery rather quickly. Yes and no. So, with our camera, it runs on a, a provided battery pack that serves as a counterweight. Okay? That's so a traditional way? Traditional way, yeah. So it's a very good balanced system. So we turned that into a feature, not just a battery power source, but it's actually a usable feature for okay. the soldier. So what we know is, is if I'm going to go out on a mission, I have to get at least eight hours of runtime. At right? least, because it's one cycle of darkness usually. Exactly. So what we have in this system is a minimum of eight hours if. Minimum. If, yes. If everything if, is turned off. If everything is on and running. If everything is on. So what we didn't talk about is this does also have Wi-Fi capabilities. We all know by using our cell phones, that drains your battery, right? Exactly. So that's going to be the most draw. But if you just use this as a viewfinder, just to be able to navigate at night safely and confidently, you're going to get 16 hours, maybe even up to 20 hours with one battery cycle. So it's a minimum, not a maximum of eight hours if everything is turned on. Because I initially thought, well, if you turn everything off, then of course you get a long battery life. Yes but eight hours minimum. How about recording functions? Because I wanna, if I set up my helmet, I want to have less weight as possible, right? But usually sometimes I need to record something. Is there a recording function? Absolutely, that's one of the key benefits of having a di digital system on your head, right? So you can record through an SD card that's on the camera. You can actually take stills with it as well. And then if you want, you can stream that image through a smart device. Another thing that people are curious about, because traditional night vision is very expensive, but it also has a shelf life. How do you guys perform in this division? Ah, so we are a solid state core, which means it doesn't decompose or it doesn't degrade over time. So, so the analog systems is phosphorus. It's a living mechanism or organism, exactly. right? So, so the best performance that you're gonna get out of that system is the first day you turn it on. But every time you use it, there's a very slight degradation of image over time. Now, granted, it is a long time, but we don't have that with this product. In fact, we actually can improve the performance and enhance it over time through firmware updates. It almost sounds like digital night vision actually is here to stay with more information on the display, bright vision, color vision, uh, a product that does not decrease, but maybe even gets better because you can update it through firmware. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is availability. Granted, you guys are from the States. Yes. Biggest brands, best products, everything appears to be from the States, which is easy if you're within the States because it will be more likely available to you. For people in Europe, other countries, how is this product certified in terms of regulation for export? I can tell you one of the, the responses I get in our booth here at Enforce Tech is the excitement from people when we tell them that it's an EAR99 classification. I can feel this. <laughs> yeah. So what does that mean? So as far as a, the U.S. government is concerned is we are free to ship this product where we're able to ship product. So we don't have restrictions on Opsin. Okay. The only concerns we have are the accepting nations. So if, if a country has a regulation on a night vision product, we have to follow their rules. It's not up to us. It is now up to the receiving country. So this is freely available to, to ship to our friendly nations around the world. Guys, it sounds like night vision is here to stay. With me, Tom Frain from Psyonix. Tom, thank you so much for your time. Also, if you guys feel like I just found the product of the show, maybe feel free to check out all the additional information that we put below the video. Thank you for watching Enforce Tech TV and please stay tuned because we have more brands, more products for you all day live from Enforce Tech 2023.